Hi everyone, I'm back with another paper D stash. This is going to be lot number three. Um, once again, my D stashes are US only, PayPal only, friends and family please. If you want an invoice, I will charge you $3 more. It's first come first serve. Once I notify you that you won the lot, you have one hour to pay. If you don't pay within that hour, then I'll move on to the next person in line that says they're wanting it. So let's get started. Lot number three. This one is Dear Lizzie Neapolitan. Like I said, I have had these paper pads in my stash forever. This one's never been opened um, and I'm not going to open it now, but I'm going to try to flip through and show you um, as best I can. I'll zoom in for you so you can see a little bit better, a little bit more close up. This is so cute. It's just, look at all these cut apart. So, so cute. Look at these cut apart. We make so many pretty projects with this. Look at the ice cream. The music. More mason jars. The little banners. Polka dots. And more, more cut aparts. So there's the first pad. The second pad, I had two of these. This is um, the Craftsmith. I got the Hot Bites Sweet Mint. And there's 48 sheets in this. There is foiling on it, so um, maybe that will be okay if I do it like that. This would be great framed. Just cut apart. We're foiling with polka dots, stripes, some little uh, flowers. It's beautiful. It's um floral but it's it's just real decorative it's beautiful another stripe more flowers more flowers this says life life is full of wonderful and it's gold pulled this one there's probably a horrible glare there but that's all fooling flowers um, the leaves different little shapes, geometric shapes, um, flowers at the bottom. This is kind of a, like an open weave. That's what it looks like, the zigzags. More floral. This is fold leaves, polka dots, flowers, diagonal stripes, floral, floral, and all of your cut aparts, and you get two pages of those. And on this it says, enjoy the little things. Let's see. Let me, whoops, sorry. Okay. Smiles, today, love, forever friends, enjoy the little things, just the two of us, love and laughter, dreams come true, happiness lives here, life is beautiful. Together we have it all. So, here's the next one. And the, the third paper pad is another Craftsmith. I had two of them. I don't know why, I, but I did. It was a hot buy. And this one isn't opened. So, I'm going to have to turn it sideways. And I will zoom in for you. And let you see, this is like an ombre, the mermaid scales, and of course it does have foiling in it, and I can see that you all can see that. Seahorses, these are cut apart, six by six cut apart, that are gorgeous. More cut apart, mermaids, and oh, it's just, this is beautiful. More cut apart. more um, like mermaid scales, 
seahorses and cut aparts and my fingers cramping. <laughs> seashells. This is seashells as well. Uh, don't know if y'all can see that. Maybe you can. It's kind of, looks like it's kind of hard to see in my camera. These are mermaids and dolphins and it's just, this is gorgeous. And it's the same thing. This is just in white. More of the ombre with that. Another one of the um, feature pages that says, um, it says, write your secrets in the sand and trust them with a mermaid. More seashells. It's another ombre page with a seashell. And then the last one is, you know, the last one are these starfish. So there's the third paper pad. The fourth paper pad is a Paper Studio Pink Lemonade. And this is cardstock and it's never been opened. So hopefully you can see that's all that's as far as I can get it open but this is like a campfire some yellow stripe um, little lemonade in the mason jars a check some trees you get three three each of these there's 20 designs three of each there's hearts Butterflies, looks like little lights, um, some campers, and these campers are so cute. Clouds, uh, some little turtles that look kind of like watermelons. Uh, this is an outdoor scene. Some foxes and butterflies and deers, a little hedgehog. There's a little hedgehog. Right there. Or is it a porcupine? Oh, well, maybe that's a porcupine. Again, the hedgehog, porcupine, whichever. Uh, some plaid, pink plaid too. Some banners, all kinds of little cut aparts. Um, the bicycles. Um, outdoor scene, there's a little raccoon down here, a little raccoon down here, uh, and the camper, and this is just so cute. Um, sunglasses, whoops, sunglasses, and then that's the last page with the flower banner. So that is um, Paper Studio Pink Lemonade. And that is the one, two, three, that's the fourth paper pad. This is the fifth paper pad. I just bought this one. I'm still over the moon in love with it, but I had to make some hard choices, so huh, I'm going to have to let this one go. But it's by DCW V um, Flower Shop. There's 12 sheets with gold foil in it, and there are 36 sheets in total. And it hasn't been opened either. They are double-sided, um, so I'm just going to flip through here. Look at all these cut apart. Isn't that pretty? Fold. Look at these. Oh. And then this one. It's just so pretty. Oops. These are cut apart. It says, I super love you, the little owl. <laughs> Great for journaling. Polka dots and full, and I guess this is part of the paper. That. Um, some cut apart. Stripes, and this looks like little doilies, little doily flowers. Um, Says, hey there, friend. 
this has falling in it. And then these pretty flowers, some little flowers, and more cut aparts. This is just a really great um, overall paper pad. So there's the fifth one. And then the last thing that I'm putting in here, this is something that I've had um, for a while. It isn't a complete kit, but it's one that I had, um, I think maybe, maybe I had bought this one. I can't exactly remember, but I'm not using it, so I need to pass it along. So what you get in here is you get the Teresa Collins uh, Sweet Afternoon Chipboard Elements. And let me zoom you back out. You get the chipboard elements. It says today, um, I want to remember this day, today and every day, take flight, memories, fly away, beautiful, you and me, find beauty in the everyday. And so that's Trace Collins. And then these um, stickers, cardstock stickers. You get several of them, you and me, and it's just places for journaling or tags, and then a little banner up here. Um, these are just really soft pink and blue um, stickers, and then there's some of these tags down in here. You get this tag and these tags and all of these little things that you could use for pulls if you folded them over you could use them as pulls or you could use them to stamp on whatever you choose to do so you get those and then you get this lace and it's kind of an off-white lace and then this um, this is flocked a flocked piece that you could use and then these can company um, chipboard elements with butterflies and birds and um, it's just oh, they're just really really pretty so you get those as well as these and it says bliss down here and butterflies and this little bird and so each one of these are stamped it looks like newsprint in the back you probably aren't picking that up but that's what that looks like and then these are the papers that go with it and these are this is a Teresa Collins Sweet Afternoon and this is textured textured cardstock and it's really good cardstock so there's the front and then the back of that one here's the front and back of this one the next one this is like hydrangeas here's the back of that one the front and back of that one so there's two of those and then here's the front oops sorry the front and back of that one front and back of that one and it's so pretty Two of those, and then the front and back of that one, and this is just I don't think this is anything. Now this is this is just a heavy a piece of um, 12 by 12 cardstock that's heavy, as well as this one. Um, I was trying to see here if this was sticky backed. Um, this may be the sticky back yes it is so this is adhesive backed cardstock so when you do your die cutting um, the, the adhesive is already on there so that's what that is so um, lot number three is um, all of this I'll put all this back in this bag 
in a few minutes, but I need to get out of the way. Lot number three, $40 shipped, and it will come um, priority mail for you. But that's a $40 shipped. Let me move this out of the way. And we'll go to lot number four. Now, lot number four is $30 shipped, and that's because some of the papers in here are, um, some of the paper pads aren't all here, and I thought that that was still a very um, good price because this Mariposa paper pad that I, I actually had four stacks of this. So, lot number four, $30 shipped. And... Uh, let's see. It looks like this one is still. So it was glued over here on this side. Um, but the paper is still all here. These are single sided, some with full. This paper pad is absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I had four stacks of it. And I have used it on many, many, many projects, but I need to move on and start using some, some different pads. See how pretty that is? It's just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's foiling and there are some glitter as well with this paper pad. Um, look how pretty. So if you love butterflies, if this is um, DCWV, so the card box is really good too. Um, if you love butterflies, you need this in your world. Um, so there's one. This is a kit that I cannot remember for the life of me. Where this came from and actually I think this is probably the first time I've ever opened it but I'll show you so there's a little flower in here there's a bunch of little tags ephemera and a bunch of little stickers and the papers with this um, they are double-sided um, it looks like there's two of each it's really pretty and it's heavy cardstock I have no idea who who the maker is of this paper pad or paper kit I, I don't know because I'm not seeing a um, not seeing a name on it anywhere I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in here now There's that. And then um, this is another one of those kits. I love these kits, but I have too many of them. So I had to let go of some. <laughs> you, have, you all have no idea how hard it is to let go of some of these, these papers. Um, because I love them. So again, you have the um, pearls in here. You have a thing of stickers over here. And then there are... Um, this is the back, so you get 10 12 by 12 scrap scrapbook papers, 5 designs, 2 of each. You get the cardstock border sticker sheet, cardstock sticker sheet, cardstock alpha sticker sheet, and um, one pearl sticker sheet. So you get all of these, these three sticker sheets along with the pearls, and then 2 of each of these designs. The next thing are these um, vacation pages, and this is from Kay and Company. I've had these for a very long time. I'm going to show you real quick what these are. I'll lay this over here. So, can you see the layouts here for scrapbooking? You have page one and page two. 
and what they look like. Okay, so that's just your, your like your bottom sheet. Where are the, oh, here they are. Sorry, these were upside down. So you have all of these solid, whoops, see that. You have all of these solid cardstock sheets here that's in a, a light craft. And then this is all embossed. And what you can do, you can use it just like this, or you can um, you can ink these, you know, just go over with your ink pad and ink them up. You could do an ombre look for them. But this says vacation and photos and camping, travel, sunshine, around the world, canoe. And each one of these pieces, this right here is actually two pieces. You have the inside piece and then the outside piece. And this is a little camera and a postcard. Um, and then here's another one that you just kind of cut apart. It says vacation memories. And then the same thing here. This is a frame. And then another frame and another frame on both of these. And so it's all vacation related, the, the embossing is. And then this is another one. Let me turn it the correct way. So you have the outside piece and then you have these inner pieces that come out and they are all uh, vacation related as well. Like this is Manila Hotel, Hotel France, Cruising, um, Coliseum, and this one right here, this is a front, I mean this is a pop out, then this is a pop out, and then this is solid. Same here, you get two here, two here, two here, and then you have the solid, and then you have these places right here where you can stamp, you know, or write your date for your vacation. So that is what is in this kit, and I'm just going to lay it right over here. Okay, now, this is where I've, um, I've started using some of these papers. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I know that this one, this will be great for Halloween. This is Recollection Steampunk. Um, I've had this one for a while. It would be great for, uh, look here, this projects. It would be great for your Halloween. This has skulls in it. These are green skulls. And this paper is, um, what do they call it? really don't know what to call it but it's a smooth finish um, it's just a really smooth finish and it's kind of can you see that it's kind of glossy and it's distressed so there's that and then this look at the spider there's a little bird up here too it's a very, to me, you can use it for Halloween, you can use it for steampunk. See the balloon over here? The keys. Um, whichever one you would like. And then there's that. And this. It's really pretty. There's some, um, feels like glitter around this one. This is skulls again. just very uh, steampunk very see look here at the skeleton steampunk uh, Halloween I love this phonograph I hope you all saw that yeah this distress there's some cancellation um, stamp over here these butterflies are um, glittered their wings are glittered and then look at that. And there is some dimension on some of some of this. You can feel it. And then in this one, if you look at it closely, I mean like really closely, these look like owls in that pattern. Which is really neat. 
and then some moths or butterflies. There's one page missing of that. Yeah, so I've apparently used this one. One of these. Look at this. <gasps> so neat. More skulls, butterflies. This looks like it has. Um, no, that's just a flower within a flower. I thought that it was a bird's nest, but it isn't. So, there you go. Oh, and there's, apparently I've used one of these two. So, two pages missing out of that one. Then, and this one, this is K and Company. It's the best of Brenda Walton. I've had this for years, and I have used this paper pad and used it and used it and used it. And not only what was in here but i used the actual her actual collections and just kind of burn out on it so um these are more these would be great for envelopes they're a little bit thinner but if you back them with um, cardstock they'll they'll be fine um if you know anything about can company you know that brenda walton has some gorgeous has always had gorgeous um, papers. I always, when I first started scrapbooking, I would use, um, these are cut aparts right here, by the way. I used a lot of Brenda Walton and Anna Griffin. Um, and this is just the best of. And this is what I have left of this one, which is, as you can see, there's still a lot left. These are great um, for quick cards. You know, if you buy like the blank cards, blank cards and envelopes, cut these up. You can make some really um, quick, any occasion cards with this. Um, What's left of this paper pad and it, there is a lot as you can see and I'm going through it quickly because one my thumbs cramping up but um, this one's a loose one that I've just tucked in there for you that's actually from another paper pad I believe but I've put it in there so can have it as well. Some of these right here are just falling out of the paper pad because my top um, came off, but everything, the papers are still in good order. It's just my top where I've used so many of them that's coming off. So there's that. And then I have, I forget how many sheets were in here left. This is a uh, little red We Are. Uh, we are memory keepers, little red story time, and there are four, four of these sheets left. So this is the front, and that is the back. So that's what I had left of those. And I was thinking that they would work with um, some of these other some of these other papers. And then this is what I have left of um, one of my Halloween papers. I've had this forever. This is We're Memory Keepers, and it was Heebie Jeebies. Um, the scraps that I have left are in here as well. Um, if you all saw the little Happy Meals that I sent, I even left. See, I've always done that, apparently. Um, these are all of my little scraps. But if you all saw the little mini albums that I sent in Happy happy mail to um, several of girls here on YouTube. Those um, little mini albums were made out of these papers. So you get all of these scraps because they're still, you know, you can still do stuff with them, with all the scraps. If you don't want the scraps, just toss them. 
that I had cut out some little tags here that you could use. Um, just more little scraps and some big pieces as well. So you get all that. And then you get these cut apart. And I think that this is actually from a different paper pad, but it works. You see, it, it works. The die lots are the same. So I left that in there and same thing goes for these. Same thing goes for these because the die lots are all the same. And so I just left them in this paper pad. Apparently I used the rest of the paper pad that those came from. So you get three sheets of those. That'll look neat if you cut that out and put your candy bowl right in the center of it, sitting on like your four year table or wherever. Be an idea black stripes this is fold you could cut each one of these out I think I've done that and this is just little words and stuff that you could use I will start back here in the back oh huh. surprise um, you're gonna get this all of this these chipboard letters like thickers they're they're pop-outs and they're adhesive, but I would probably use my own, you know, more glue. But you're going to get those. I didn't even know that was in there. And then you're going to get these cut aparts right here as well. And then these are stickers. These are alpha stickers that you can pop out. You don't have to cut them, by the way don't have to cut those they're already cut for you oh maybe that do go with this paper pad see it's been so long since I've done Halloween projects that um, I've, I've forgotten I've forgotten and I don't I don't do them anymore so I know that a lot of you ladies do so I thought that I would pass that pass that on if you want it so again, this is lot number four, $30 shipped. Um, I do have some more D-stashes. Not sure that I'll get those up today, but they will be coming up sometime soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.